demands then. Um, down the bottom there. Top medic demands enter junior doctor job title. This is all part of the um, the government's plan to destroy the the NHS. What they've been doing is uh, doctors that were getting trained in the old-fashioned way, but uh, via other doctors as well as doing all the stuff at the university and whatnot. Uh, what they decided to do is, while they were being trained, they, they'd call them junior doctors, so they only had to pay them half the amount that they would normally pay them, and they had to work 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Uh, and the doctors, quite rightly, are saying, this isn't good for the NHS, this isn't good for the, the patients, this isn't good for anyone. But of course, they make money out of it, so they don't give two hooves. Britain's first race audit reveals extent of discrimination. This is more divide and conquer. Not worth wasting your time with, but then again, what do you expect from the times? And then, disgraced movie mogul should lose his CBE. Well, <laughs> when you get these, these, these nominations like Sir and all that sort of junk, that just means you're in the club of child rape. That's all that means. Like a mirror. Now, what you've got to bear in mind when you're reading these rags is um, it's their job to tell you what the criminal, parasitical scum have in plan, are, are planning for us. And here, yeah, they can, as you can see, don't let the NHS die on its 70th birthday. They've sold it off. They sold it off years ago and they're planning on destroying it even further. It's, it's still not fully gone yet, but it's virtually, virtually gone. Um, so that's what they're telling you there. That's what the plan is. This is them telling you what they are, have got planned. And if you look over on the left hand side there, May getting set for no deal Brexit. Ooh, no deal Brexit. I guess that means we're not leaving the uh, EU then, like we've been saying all along. But uh, we'll see what the rest of the papers have to say first, shall we? Right, now at the top of the, the Guardian here, you've got, we need people who dare to think differently. Well, all those in the alternative media think differently, and they don't seem to like it. So that's a fake news story there. Global cost of obesity to hit 1.2 trillion by 2025. Well, eight years away, seven years away, whichever it is, it's, it's, it's a load of rubbish anyway. Uh, and the only reason we've got this obesity epidemic is because of the parasites have said that Oh, you should drink less fat, skim milk or semi-skim milk and, uh, and cut all the fat off your, your food, your meat and all that sort of thing. When in actual fact, just 20, 30 years ago, we were all eating full fat everything and we were all, most of us, thin. So this, is, this, this um, obesity thing has been caused by them. That Make no mistake, it's been caused deliberately by them. Um, down at the bottom there, it's talking about the CIA, CIA uh, black areas where they take anyone they like into a black site and torture them, even though torture has been proven to fail. Because when you're being tortured, you will say anything they want you to say. And it's always, it's been 99% proven that everything you get from torture is a waste of time because they'll say what they want you to say because you know if you're put through severe pain you will do whatever it is and say whatever it is to get them to stop hurting you but hey you know it's a, it's, a, it's 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 needed because of all these terrorists well i tell you what if they use these techniques on the mps that have been um, committing treason we would get to the truth then because them spineless lot they've got no backbone whatsoever they're fine when they're stealing off us all but when it come, when push comes to shove and they get questioned on it, they crap themselves. Telegraph. Now, it's more the little ones here. I mean, obviously, you've got the big one again. Again, May draws up plans for no Brexit deal. We're not leaving the EU like we've been saying all along. Of course, the, 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 uh, those that don't, aren't aware of what's going on will think, oh, she means that we're just not going to get that, that deal. We're going to have our own deal. Yeah, well, you believe that. You believe what you like. However, you know, we've all been saying it, all those that are aware that it's all a scam. Um, now, it, on the left there, a pro, the BT, British Telecom, are being probed into claims that, uh, that, that they've been given backhanders by the government. But wait, BT is now a private corporation, so why would the government be giving them any money? Ooh, fraud maybe. This seems to be interesting down the bottom there. 
at the moment. Um, Tesco to defy the one pound, it's all got to go sort of stuff. So there's a lot, lot of this going on about shops and Tesco's and on all these different areas, ignoring the uh, the, the mints uh, order demand that uh, all pound co old pound coins be out by circulation by such and such. And quite frankly, it, I see no reason why they should be. They can easily do it over a period of time, but having a cut-off date so quickly is, is ridiculous. They could give it another year and then all be out of circulation anyway. But no, they like to impose their authority, just like the councils like to think that they're an authority. They're not an authority, they're our servants, but they will tell you they're an authority. And again, this is all about control. Mail. Um, well, Meryl Streep and Judi Dench condemn movie moguls horrifying offences. Basically, as we all know, the likes of Hollywood is run by paedophiles. And if you send your kids over there thinking that they're going to be made millions, yeah, they may make millionaires, but they'll all be raped at the, in the first place anyway. And then down the bottom there, the main headline, big bad lifestyles, crippling NHS. You bad, bad lot. You've been having bad lifestyles. Nothing to do with the fact that you can't afford to have a good lifestyle because they, they, they rob or rob you with tax or they put you on benefits and then take it back off you with bedroom tax, council tax, all that sort of junk. Yeah, no, it's your fault that the NHS is being crippled. Nothing to do with the fact that it's run by a bunch of criminals who siphon off all the uh, the, the, the money that's, that's given to them. And again, I've pointed this out again before, but I was over in Egypt a year or two ago. And over there, you can go, and go to the chemist and you can buy over-the-counter uh, inhalers. Um, I don't have asthma, but... A friend of mine did, does, uh, and he went to it and he bought it. It was one pound, one pound it cost over the counter from a chemist. So the chemist is making a profit on top of that. Buy Glaxo Smith Klein, exactly the same as you get over here. Now, about it was about 10 years ago I was looking into this, and the NHS back then were paying 28 pounds for the same inhaler. Now, the NHS has got massive buying power, they should be able to get it as cheap or even cheaper than they can in Egypt. So, why are they paying? Back then, so it's probably more now, 28 times what's the, what uh, a, a pharmacist in Egypt's paying. Because it's a scam, it's a rip-off, they're creaming it. The guys who buy it for that amount are creaming, I would suggest, are creaming a massive backhander of, say, £8 per, per item. So therefore, it's worth millions to them. This is the sort of scams that's being run in the NHS. Now, this, the nurses and the doctors are usually usually okay. It's those up at the top that run things and make all the money. So, just so you're aware. Uh, the store. Well, apparently, it's trick or heat for Brits. We're going to get uh, roasted this uh, October. I don't think so. The eye. Made plans for no deal with EU. That's the third time so far that we've had this. So, we're not leaving the EU, like we've been saying all along. Oh, it's so funny. Metro, brace for a no deal Brexit. My, wow. Hmm. So, we're, at, we're, we're in this imaginary land of Brexit. Now we're not, because there's no deal. Hmm. You were told. Express Tempe. Britain ready for EU no deal. We're not leaving EU. Well, that's a shocker, isn't it? None of you expected that. Times. May details no deal trade plans as high stakes Brexit tussle looms. Now, the, the, what they, the, I mean, the Times is, uh, has got a little bit more finesse about them, only a tiny little bit. And what they're trying to put, put, put here is that there's going to be uh, uh, a tussle over Brexit because of um, the no deal rubbish. It's all smoke and mirrors to distract you from the fact there is no Brexit. 